Hello everyone, this is Sean Smith with Groomer's Choice, our product specialist here and also our bather box expert. Um, so today we're going to go over just a, a fun little uh, tutorial on how to braid your, um, your four lines. It just keeps everything nice and tidy and just gives a nice aesthetic to your, your grooming station. So first you want to take your roll of clear tubing and get these twist ties off. If you try to work with this just the way it is, it's going to be kind of, it's going to tangle up quite a bit. So I just like to step on one side of it and give it a stretch. It just loosens it up a little bit. And I'm gonna switch. It just makes it a little bit more manageable. So here's a measure our lines. And we'll start with our first product here. And actually we'll put the cap on feedback. Your ceramic weight and your blue filter. So you're going to feed that down into your first gallon. And that ceramic weight again just keeps that all the way on the bottom. So you push that all the way down and make sure the weight's at the bottom. And then we'll go ahead, since you're baiting it, you're going to lose a little bit of length. So we'll cut all of the tubing a little bit long. Even though it's going to be hooked up there, and we can shorten this after we're done braiding as well. We'll just pull it out maybe an extra foot or so. Okay, so we fed our last tubing into the fourth gallon here, and as we're going, we're just matching the lengths, and we'll cut that fourth one and be done. That's that. What I like to do next is take one of these black ties just to keep these in line a little more. Just go ahead and put your black tie down here and that'll be your starting point for your braid. Okay, so here's the fun part. We're gonna start the first part of the braid and we'll have the two pieces crossed over like that. Take our center one here and feed one over. And then our outside one here is gonna feed in like that. Outside is gonna come in. So you're always taking that outside and then feeding in over. And you don't want to do this too tight, otherwise you can put a kink in there in your tubing. So just do kind of a loose braid. So again, a little outside over, outside over, and just continue down. You can leave it kind of loose like that so there's a little bit of space in between the tubing. Outside and in. Outside and in. And then from there you can go up and measure. We have plenty of distance there. Again, it's easier just to have extra line. So what I'll do is take another one of these black twist tunnels button this up at the end. And you have yourself a nice braided line. From here we'll go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of extra length. And now that we have these all matched up, we'll go ahead and cut them all at the same length. And then what I like to do is match up number one, two, three, and four. So we'll take line number one. And we can just follow this up. Here. There's line number one. Line number two. 
this way. And last but not least, number four. And just a tidy way to keep all your lines nice and neat and give it that awesome aesthetic appeal. And you can go ahead and start your machine up. Start with product number one, put it on clean, and prime your lines and continue down through all four of your products. All right, so thanks again for joining us. I did want to give you a quick uh, reminder that this just is going to clean up your, your wash bay. There's no uh, advantage. The system's going to perform the same if you run the tube straight versus braiding. Uh, but it looks really, really nice when you go to prime these and you have multiple colors running through the lines. Um, whether it's your groomers looking at it or a self-wash station, it's going to give it just a, a nice aesthetic appeal to it. Um, another quick tip, uh, it is easy to follow these up, but uh, if you have a marker, you can simply write a one, two, three, four on the bottoms of the lines, and then at the top, and then once you braid it, very simply plug one to one, two to two, and it's 